गाइस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग क्लाउड वर्क आई एम अक्षित वेलकम बैक टू अनदर टेक वीडियो सो फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल बी अपलोडिंग वीडियोस ऑन टेराफॉर्म फ्रॉम स्क्रैच आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माय लिंक एंड यूट्यूब फैमिली फॉर शेयरिंग टेराफॉर्म टॉपिक्स दैट आई कैन कवर इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द वेरी बेसिक्स सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर लेट सी द आउटलाइन ऑफ टूडेज टॉक आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ वॉट इज टेराफॉर्म followed by features and use cases of terraform then how to set up terraform on local machine i will show you how to set up terraform on mac os the process will be same on other os as well and in the last i am going to discuss about basic terraform commands used in terraform in order to perform infra task so let's get started first topic in the stack is what is terraform In layman language, Terraform is a tool for automating the infra task that we do via console manually. Terraform is a tool for building, changing, and versioning infra safely and efficiently. Terraform can manage existing and popular service providers as well as custom in-house solutions. Terraform is an open source infra as code software tool created by HashiCorp. Terraform supports a number of cloud infra providers such as Amazon, IBM Cloud, Google Cloud Platform and many more. So, using Terraform, you can spin up, modify or destroy any resource like server, databases, DNS, VPC, S3 and many more. So, let's take an example. I have, suppose I have to spin up 10 servers, 10 RDS clusters and 10 DNS entries. So if I'm going to spin up all these one by one using Amazon console, then it's going to take hell a lot of time. So what can I do is just write Terraform code and it will do all the things by itself. Now let's talk about features of Terraform. First we have is infra as a code. So in Terraform, infra is described using a high level configuration syntax. This allows a blueprint of your data center to be versioned and treated as you would have any other source code. Additionally, infra can be shared and reused. That's a really good feature of Terraform that you can reuse the infra code. For example, if we have staging environment set up via Terraform, then you can reuse the same code and spin up another infra say QA, which is going to save a lot of time yeah, wow, it's amazing. Now, next is execution plans. Terraform has a planning step where it generates an execution plan. The execution plan shows what Terraform will do when you call apply. This lets you avoid any surprises when Terraform manipulates infra. This is also a good feature where you can see what all going to happen before it actually happens. So for example, I'm spinning up one instance. So using Terraform plan, I can see the output of that, output of what and how my instance is going to look like. Next is resource graph. Terraform builds a graph of all your resources and parallelize the creation of and modification of any non-dependent resources. Because of this, Terraform builds infra as efficiently as possible and operations get insight into dependencies in their infra. Next is change automation. Complex chain sets can be applied to your infra with minimal human interaction. With the previous mentioned execution plan and resource graph, you can exactly you can know exactly what Terraform will change and in what order, avoiding many possible human errors. So when we run plan, it will show us what all it's going to create or modify or destroy, avoiding errors. Now, I really hope that you are loving Terraform after knowing the features of it. If not, then let's talk more about Terraform. Next topic in the stack is use cases of Terraform. First use case is Heroku app setup. Heroku is a popular platform as a service for hosting web apps. Terraform can be used to codify the setup required for this application, ensuring that all the required add-ons are available. But it can go 
even further Confi- configuring dns to set a c name or setting up lot flare as a cdn for for the app best of all terraform can do all this in under 30 seconds without using a web interface so that's really amazing next use case is multi tier applications and it is one of my favorite use case so terraform is an ideal tool for building and managing n tier infra each tier can be described as a collection of resources and the dependencies between each tier are handled automatically terraform ensure that the database tier is available before the web servers are started and that and that the load balancers are aware of the web nodes so that's the really the good use case of terraform where you can where you do not need to worry about how it is going to launch your resource as terraform is smart enough to take care of it by itself next use case is self service cluster using terraform the knowledge of how to build and scale a service can be codified in a configuration terraform configuration can be shared within an organization enabling customer teams to use the configuration as a black box and use terraform as a tool to manage their services as we know that the code is reusable so we can share the code with other teams as well helping them to launch their resources it is uh, a really uh, amazing use case next use case is software demos software writers can provide a terraform configuration to create provision or bootstrap a demo on cloud provider like aws this allows end users to easily demo the software on their own infra and even enables tweaking parameters like cluster size to more rigorously test tools at any scale so you can rescale parameters like cluster size according to the software needs now next use case is disposable environments using terraform the production environment can be codified and then shared with staging qa or dev environment this con- these configuration can be used to rapidly spin up new environment to test in and then be easily disposed of terraform can help team the difficulty of maintaining the parallel environments and make it practical to elastically create and destroy them so i am in love with this use of terraform as i discussed before as well you can use same code and launch other environments in just few minutes that's that's really really amazing use case of terraform next use case is software defined networking terraform can be used to codify the configuration for software defined networks this configuration can then be used by terraform to automatically set up and modify settings by interfacing with the control layer this allows configuration to be version and changes to be automatic as an example aws vpc is one of the most commonly used stn implementation and can be configured by terraform next use case is resource schedulers terraform is not limited to physical providers like aws resource schedulers can be treated as a provider enabling terraform to request resources from them this allows terraform to be used in layers to set up the physical infra running the schedulers as well as provisioning onto the scheduled grid next use case is multi cloud deployment terraform is cloud agnostic and allows a single configuration to be used to manage multiple cloud providers and to even handle cross cloud deplo- dependencies this simplifies management and orchestration helping operators build large scale multi cloud infra as terraform supports multiple cloud so you are not restricted to only one cloud provider say aws you can deploy on other cloud platform as well like ibm gcp azure and many more now let's see how we can set up terraform in our local machine so right now i have mac operating system so i am going to share the step required to perform on mac in order to run terraform but yeah if you have other os like windows or linux based operating system the process will be same 
in case you run into any issue please contact me so terraform is distributed as a single binary and you can install terraform by unzipping it and moving it to a directory included in your system's path so it's quite simple just install the file as per your os and move it into your system path that's it you can download and install latest version of terraform which is point 12.28 you can also download older version of terraform from the release service but i would suggest you to use the latest version so these are the steps of installing the terraform in local machines starting from downloading and unzipping the file followed by moving it to a directory included in your system path usually for mac it is user local bin then you can verify the installation by running command terraform version now i will show you how to set up terraform in mac so guys first of all we'll check if uh, we have terraform installed we can check by using terraform version so you can see that terraform is not installed currently in this system so uh, now we will install the terraform from terraform.io/download.html so my system is mac so i will download the mac uh, binary file so once downloaded we can see that file and then we can unzip that file using unzip command now you can see that uh, we have unzip and then the file name so now you can see the terraform here path which is user local bin so once you move then you can check the terraform version using the same command and then you will see that terraform is installed successfully now it is running with version 0.12.28 Now let's discuss the last topic in the stack which is terraform commands. Terraform is controlled via a very easy to use command line interface. To view a list of available commands at any time, just run terraform with no arguments as shown below. So now I'm going to discuss some of the basic commands. The first is apply Using terraform apply you can spin up the infra resources whatever written in terraform file not only spin up you can modify or destroy the resource as well next is destroy using terraform destroy you can destroy all the resources written in your terraform file in that particular folder next is import using terraform import resource name you can import existing infra into terraform which was created manually all you need to do is write terraform code for that particular resource and run terraform import with the resource name and id terraform will fetch the resource from the cloud provider say aws and save it in terraform state terraform plan so before running terraform apply always run terraform plan to see what all going to happen when you run terraform apply next is show using terraform show you can list down the terraform state or plan next is version using terraform version you can check the running terraform version in your local to get help for any specific command you can pass the hyphen x flag to the relevant subcommand for example to see help about the graph subcommand you can run terraform graph space hyphen x now i am definitely sure that you are loving terraform if not then stay tuned for more terraform sessions in coming videos now so that's all i have for today thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions so far 
then you can directly reach out to me on any social platform like LinkedIn, Instagram or Facebook. Username is same on all the platform which is Cloudwork or you can also mail me at cloudworktech at the real gmail.com. Do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe Cloudwork. If you like this video, do let me know and if you don't, do let me know how can I make it better. I come up with new video every Thursday, so stay tuned. Bye guys.